guys, it's me. It's hours away from the October Art Walk downtown. It's gonna be a beautiful night. Some of the leaves are starting to turn on the trees. It's gonna be so pretty and there's some great stuff to see. So I went to talk to somebody from Art Walk about all of the things we need to hit up to make this the best Art Walk ever. By the way, don't forget to mask up. Avery, you're the communications director for First Friday Art Walk. What should we be doing tonight? What are the highlights? Absolutely. So tonight we have 15 awesome venues open for you. Um, one of them being the Coffee Ethic, where we are tonight. Um, it's hosting the Anniversary Art Contest, which is a juried show. It's going to host over 35 pieces of original artwork, which is amazing. We also have the Obelisk Home Show featuring J. Kent Martin. We have a great benefit show at the Hotel Vandeport, which is going to be featuring artists work by um, Down Syndrome of the Ozarks um, so big, make sure you stop by there um, and then we also have some live music at Hold Fast Brewing um, by Allie and Maddie Warren and then they'll also have some great food over there for you to have dinner too. Amazing so you've got 15 different venues and Talk about some of the shopping that can be had at Art Walk. Great time for gift buying. Yeah, absolutely. So, of course, there's always the original art that you can um, do um, and buy and bring home for yourself or a loved one. But also, um, gift cards are a great way to support local businesses. Um, so you can buy either from you know a local restaurant that you really love um, or a coffee shop like Coffee Ethic. Um, so that way, if you have something that you want to buy online, you can do that too. And I know we've talked about on Ozarks Live the new pop-up shop downtown. Yeah, absolutely. So Gailey's um, Breakfast and Lunch Diner is going to be uh, hosting a pop-up shop right next door. It's going to feature local artists as well. Um, so you can go in and swing in and shop in multiple artists in one spot for tonight. Will there be anything particular happening actually on the square? Um, the square will just have some general activity. Uh, we won't have any live music tonight, um, but we will have um, people circulating with the um, sculpture walk as well as um, up and down the street with street vendors that just kind of walk around and sell their wares. I was going to mention street vendors and every now and again street performers. So I think one of the things you could do at Art Walk is sort of plan your route a little bit, but be ready for anything. Yeah, absolutely. Um, on FFAW.org, we have the map and news that you can even print out at home, but the venues will all have an issue that you can pick up as well, so you can plan your walk um, before you go out, and so that way you can really hit those spots that you really want to see. And a beauty, beautiful thing about Art Walk is it doesn't cost you anything. No, it's totally free. Um, you get to plan where you want to go and what you want to do and what you want to see and who you bring. So that's the fun part about being in the community in downtown. What do you recommend in terms of social distancing? Mask up, everybody. Yep, of course wear your mask. Um, wash your hands and, of course, limit touching of other people. But um, have those conversations. Enjoy one another and, and see things you never thought you would want to see. Remind us the start and end time for Art Walk. Yeah, um, the times for Art Walk are all flexible, but most venues are open from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. today. Okay, Avery, thank you so much. Have fun tonight. Thank you so much. We hope to see you all out. All right, so much to see and do at tonight's first Friday Art Walk. By the way, you may have seen in the, the video there, the Bonsai Guy is going to have his artisan garden shop open tonight. That's at 600 West Walnut. Would be really cool to see. Uh, if you haven't been before, the Drury Pool Arts Center, there's an exhibit called The Other Springfield by an artist who grew up in North Springfield. She says pretty much in poverty, but she's come a long way and she's noticed a lot of differences in different parts of town. So that would be an interesting one. Another mm -hmm. exhibit is 39 Days of Watercolor by an artist named Rebecca Johnson. She put a completed painting, she completed a, a painting rather, every single day of the pandemic stay at home order. Every day for 39 days she Ooh. did a new painting. They're all going to be downtown. You can get information at ffaw.org. Org, first Friday Art Walk dot org. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's always so much. Great fun. night for it. Oh, you know it. It's gonna be beautiful out there.